Hi guys, in this video, I walk you guys through the new Super Frank Ocean on R Factor 2. This is the new Super Frank Ocean on R Factor 2. Later in this video, I show you guys the race room version of Super Frank Ocean. This time, I'm driving the prototype one from Razor Pack. Races on AI difficulty 88 and AI aggression 100, the maximum level. After exiting La Source Corner 1, we climb up the famous La Didian Eau Rouge. This time I'm starting off from the last grid. This is a Camel Straight, a super long flat out area. This track is a laser scanned track. This time R Factor 2 has released two versions of Spa Francochan. One is the endurance version, another is the GP version. The only difference is the length of pit lane. Getting side by side and overtaking a car at La Combe. We are approaching one of the most tightest corners in Spa Francochan, the Brussels. I really like the corner 11 here, the left hander. My favorite Automobista 2 will release the Spa Francochan shortly. And there will be some historic versions on Automobista 2 version. This is the high speed corner where you off throttle the Pujon. Overtaking a car at exit of Pujon. And we enter the series of S curb, the canvas. I noticed that when you increase the grid on R Factor 2, the screen gets choppy, even if you're using some good graphic cars. So this time I'm trying out total 15 cars race. Approaching the bus stop chicane, one of the car behind overtaking from outside before we get into the bus stop chicane. Our Factor 2 AIs are very good, and I think they are fast too. This is the opening lap of our Factor 2 and we move on to the race room. I'm driving the prototype 1, same as our Factor 2. The car manufacturer is Audi. I'm starting off from the last grid, we have total 21 cars. The race is on AI difficulty 95. R Factor 2 is advertising that the Spafuan Koshan is laser scanned. When you drive race room, you can feel that the Spafuan Koshan is exactly the same as R Factor 2. The angle of the corner, tarmac, and curbs. Surrounding looks similar though it is different, but I think race room's Spafuan Koshan is also laser scanned. I mean, the management company might be selling some laser scan data to each of the developers. Studio 397, the developer has updated race room massively this year. Especially on engine sounds, they have also updated several tracks. This Spa Francochan has gone through a major update to its 2020 specs. So they have updated the texture of tarmac, curbs, and surroundings. Overtaking a car from outside at corner 11. I really, really love driving these prototype cars on race room. It's really a blast. Overtaking a car from inside at high speed corner, Puhan, but couldn't catch the pace. Challenging again to overtake a car at canvas from inside, series of S corner. Getting side by side with the car. Going a bit wide here. And this is the stubble. In regards to the force feedback, when you compare it to R Factor 2 to Race Room, I saw that the force feedback on Race Room is very, very good, especially on prototype cars like Prototype 1 and Prototype 2. Also, from this time, I changed the force feedback setting quite a lot. After I changed the settings, I got a very great force feedback on Race Room. I think Race Room playing hour is going to be increased quite a lot. We are getting back to R Factor 2 Lap 2. We are now in position 11, entering the tight right-hander Brussels. Going for an overtake at corner 11. Couldn't succeed overtake. 
R Factor 2 has gone through a huge graphics update this year. It's got more clear and vivid. So when you compare to the other simulators like Automobista 2 or Asset Corsa Competizione, I still think R Factor 2 is two or three steps behind. I mean, the shade and shadow is a little bit quite lacking when you compare to other latest racing simulators. So you still have a great force feedback on each of the car models and also AIs are just great to compete. Also, this R Factor 2 is used by all the professional driving teams. Well, it's not exactly R Factor 2, it's R Factor professional version. So in that sense, I think this physics and force feedback, the R Factor 2 is one of the best racing simulators you can afford. Battling with opponents at the bus stop she came. Getting back to race room. We are in lap 2 and we are in position 15, approaching the tight right-hander Brussels and upcoming corner 11 here. I think race room's graphic is dark and is not that good compared to other racing simulators because this race room was launched in 2013. I think it's not terrible though, but I think the good point is that you can play with high FPS even with the old computers. I'm playing and recording all my videos on 4K 60fps. All the other simulators are played and recorded exactly at 59.97fps. But on RaceRim you can get precise 60fps. Physics on throttle and braking and other effects is just great on RaceRim. That's one of the reasons I love this RaceRim. We are approaching the bus stop chicane here, seeking a chance to overtake from inside at bus stop chicane. Going a little bit rough here, making some mistakes. Oops, sorry here. We are approaching the final lap and we are in position 11. We are skipping to the midsection of the final lap. Overtaking a car at corner Brussels, corner 10. Left side. Overtaking a car at corner 11, we flat out. I personally think that this race room AI behavior is the best among racing simulators. Automobista 2's AI behavior is evolving at a very rapid pace. I think that Automobista 2's AI behavior is close to second when you compare to race room. What makes race room AI behaviors great is that they don't punt you off the track. <laughs> That's basically it. And what makes this AI behavior great on race room is that they offend and defend very well. So you can have a very great race experience on this race room when you race with the AIs. Finishing the race position 9. Let's move on to R Factor 2's final lap. Overtaking a car from inside at corner 11, we flat out as soon as we exit corner 11 and approach high speed corner Puhan. You need to make sure not to be off the track going a little bit wide here. You're gaining on this guy, the gap's now zero point two four. Overtaking car at canvas, series of S corner. I just can't wait for the Automobista 2 to release this spa from Koshan. Which car model on Automobista 2 do you want to try out on this new spa from Koshan? Let me know in the comment section below. Left side tires are cold. I really love the track layout of this spa from Koshan, especially after the Lacombe, corner 7, 8, and 9. We are approaching the last bus stop chicane and finishing the race. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell button. 
See you soon. Ciao.